Hey guys, it's Taylor, and today I'm gonna do a tattoos and piercings video. Um, I'm just gonna do this because I want to, not like anyone has requested it, but I just want to do it, um, because I recently just got a tattoo and a piercing last weekend. Um, <clears throat> so yeah, I just wanted to share it with you, and yeah, so let's go ahead and get started. Okay, so the first tattoo that I ever got was right here. Oh, and, um, I'm gonna put all the tattoos at the end of the video, but I'm going to talk about them now. So yeah. So the first tattoo that I ever got was this one right here. And I got this right after I turned 18 and it just says, Awake My Soul. And I just got this because at the time I was really into Mumford and Sons and that's all I listened to really. And so yeah, I got that. Um, all right. On a scale from one to five, it hurt about a three just because it was my first tattoo and I didn't really know what to expect <clears throat> and right here and like the collarbone and stuff oh it just did not feel good but yeah either like a two and a half to a three now that I'm comparing it to my other ones but after that tattoo um I didn't get another one for maybe six months because I got this next one um over the summer over last summer like june or july i'm not exactly sure but my friend just asked me randomly if i wanted to go with her to get a tattoo and i was like yeah sure and then i started thinking i was like well i want one <laughs> so um just a kind of a spur of the moment thing i had been thinking about tattoos before that and what i wanted but i also wanted something small nothing too expensive and so I basically just got an outline of a moon right on my ribs right here. Um, it's literally a line, like that's all it was, and a moon. And it was definitely overpriced, it was $60, but it's okay. I love it still. Um, I plan on adding on to it to make it look um, more realistic, I guess you would say. But yeah, so that's what I got for my second one. And then my third one I got in... October of last year I believe and uh, also kind of a spur of the moment thing my friend asked me if she if I wanted to get tattoos with her and I was like yeah sure and um so we went she got a betta fish right here which is really cool and I got a sunflower on my thigh this is the probably the biggest one that I have so far it's probably about that big I'm not exactly sure but it's a sunflower and I got it for my mom because me and her favorite flowers are sunflowers and um yeah so I got that and oh and the pain wise for the moon one was probably mm, a two maybe it lasted like 10 minutes because it's so small but still on the ribs it hurts so maybe like a one and a half to two and then the one on my thigh I would give it I don't really remember. I remember it hurting a lot at first, but then it kind of numbed out and didn't hurt as much, but I would still give it probably a three. Yeah, I'm just gonna give that one a three. And then the most recent one that I have is the one on this side, and me and my mom got these together. Um, it was kind of her birthday present from me because she's been wanting a tattoo and she wanted mother-daughter tattoos and um, this is my first colored one. I always told myself that I was only going to get black and gray. The reason that I wanted to stick to a gray scale was because I wanted my tattoos to look good with everything that I wore and I know it's kind of uh, superficial but that's what I wanted. And um, But since it's covered I figured um, that colored wouldn't be too bad since you can't see it all the time but I got it right here and we got this one last Friday so it's almost been a week because today's Thursday um and this one is a rose with some leaves and a key and then she got a rose and a lock and hers is on her back uh kind of similar to where mine is it's kind of more up here on her back um but these were the most expensive <laughs> very expensive because they're colored and detailed and stuff like that but um it itches really bad right now <laughs> um this one definitely hurt the most like this one 
was horrifying. Um, it took about two hours. I would give it probably a four and a half on pain wise because it hurt incredibly bad at first. But then I started getting into the zone and I was just like, all right, I can do this. It doesn't hurt too bad. And at one point it started feeling good. I don't know if that's normal or not. Normal or not. <laughs> but um, it started feeling kind of good in the middle of it. And then by the end, I was just like, please hurry up. I can't do this anymore. Like, oh my God, it hurts so bad. Because it's right on the ribs and uh, just did not feel good. But yeah, that was my very last one. Um, I definitely plan on getting more in the future, uh, once I get more money, <laughs> but yeah, those are my tattoos. Now, um, so my piercings, um, I don't really know how to talk about them because I don't have very many. I actually only have four, technically, um, but I will talk about my previous piercings and just let you know how the pain and stuff. Um, I used to have my nose pierced. The pain on that one was probably a one. Like, it did not hurt at all. My eyes, of course, watered a little bit. But it just feels like pressure going into it. And uh, um, that got infected. I only had it for like a month, which was really disappointing. I kind of wanted it again. But then again, I'm trying to get a job right now. So who knows? I might get it again. But then... Um, I didn't have any piercings after that for a while, and then about last year in April, I think it was, I got my septum pierced, and that hurts probably, uh, two or three. It's a really bad pinch at first, and I went with my friend, and I was, she told me that I was, like, squeezing her hands so hard. Um, but of course, like only one eye like started watering and just like dripping down my face. Um, but then after the initial piercing of the septum, putting the ring in, it didn't hurt at all. Like it hurts when I started flipping it up to hide it. Um, that hurt a lot actually. And then I have a story to tell you. <laughs> I wanted to change my ring out since it was healed and, um, this was about August probably. Um, so I wanted to switch my ring out because I was getting bored of the other one. And I bought some at Walmart, first mistake, because <laughs> they were only $7. And then um, they were just like regular black ones, but they didn't have the little balls at the bottom. They were plastic. Uh, and they did have stoppers that you would put up here uh, just so the ring didn't move around. So I was really excited to change it out because I was like, yeah, new look, whatever. And... I got home and I took my other ring out and uh, I tried putting the black one in and uh, what I did not realize when I was buying it was that it was a size up. So I was basically stretching my septum which I had no intentions of doing like I did not want to do that but um, I really just wanted a new ring so I took some bio oil and I slathered it up so it'd be easy to push through and it was not easy to push through like that is oh uh, I don't even want to think about it anymore that is one of the reasons why I don't have my septum anymore but I did get it through um I had the black one in for probably one or two months and then one night I lost it and um I slept over at my friend's house and I lost it and um I had an extra one in my house, so I was like, oh, it's totally fine, and then when I went to go put the other one in, it had went back down to its original size, and I did not want to stretch it again, so, and I, by that point, I was just kind of, like, not feeling the septum anymore, I was just kind of like, mm, I don't really like it that much, it's not really me anymore, so I was just like, and it's not worth the pain again stretching it, so I was just like, you know what, fuck it, yeah, I don't even care. So I took it out, and I haven't had it ever since, and people are always like, Taylor, why'd you take your stuff down now? And I'm like, because, I don't, I don't know, I just didn't feel it anymore. But yeah, so that was my septum story. <laughs> um, I'll probably never get it again. I don't know, it's just not me. Um, and then, I do have my earlobes post. Earlobes post. How did I even get that from pierced? Okay, anyways, I do have my earlobes pierced, 
And I had my second lobes pierced, but this second hole got infected. Like, really disgusting infected. So I just took it out, and this one stayed, so I have one second hole, one and two regular holes. <laughs> uh, so that's kind of weird. But I plan on piercing this one again, just myself. You know, just because. I pierced it once by myself, and then my dad got really pissed off at me and made me take it out, so... Yeah, I'm gonna do it again anyways now that I'm older and he can't say anything. Last Saturday, my friend just randomly asked me if I wanted to go with her to get her Medusa pierced. And I was like, hell yeah! So I wasn't planning on getting any piercings. But, um, whenever she got in the car, she was like, yeah, it's only gonna be like 20 bucks and blah blah blah. And I was like, oh my god, I want a piercing now. <laughs> only $20? Hell yes. And so, um, I've been wanting my tragus pierced for a little while now. Because I've just been wanting to do things with my ears, like cartilage, I don't know, I just want to do everything to it. Um, so, since I can't do anything to my face since I'm trying to get a job, why not fuck my ears up? So I was like, hmm, I think I'm going to get my tragus pierced. And so we get to the place, and um, she gets her Medusa pierced. It looked very painful, and then he was like, 15 bucks, and we were like, not 20, 15, we're like, oh my god, this place is awesome. Because usually piercings are like 40, 50, whatever. Um, and so, uh, well, I sat down to get my tragus pierced, and it literally took like two seconds at most, and it did not hurt at all. Like, I was expecting a lot of pain, because that's a lot of cartilage right there. Like a lot of cartilage but it did not hurt at all I would probably give it a 0.5 on pain wise like and it's weird for me to say this but it kind of felt good I don't know why but um I kind of enjoyed the feeling of it and I plan on getting this one pierced as well but yeah so I got this pierced and I've just been taking care of it, it doesn't hurt at all still um I clean it with saline solution twice a day when I wake up and before I go to bed. And yeah, it's doing pretty well. So you can see it. I love it. And again, I plan on doing more to my ear, my ears. And yeah, and I might also get my nose pierced again. But those are all my piercings and tattoos. Um, I hope it was kind of informative of how like pain wise and stuff. Honestly, when you're getting a tattoo or a piercing, and you're there, you don't want to shake it out. Just go for it. Just do it. Like, it's so much, it's so worth it whenever you have the feeling of, like, yeah, I just fucking did that. I'm proud of myself. And then you have an awesome thing to prove. But, um, yeah, so I love all my tattoos and I love all my piercings. And I will just go ahead and show you a few clips of my tattoos so you can get a good look at them. And I hope to see you guys very soon, and I hope you guys are having an awesome week. Also, to make sure to follow my Instagram and my Twitter, and please subscribe if you like for, and for more. And uh, yeah, so I hope you guys are having an awesome week, and I hope to see you very soon. Bye!